Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I'm so glad to have you with us as we continue to explore sustainability. Today, we're gonna look at all things recycling. I love recycling and I love finding new ways that we can use things. So come and join us today as we look and explore recycling together. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time. time with Robbie and Susie. I have hands. I have hands. Watch me clap. Watch me clap. Oh, oh what a miracle am I. I have feet. I have feet. Watch me stand. Watch me stand. Oh, Watch me swing. Watch me swing. Oh, what a miracle am I. I have legs. I have legs. They can bend and stretch. They can bend and stretch. Oh, what a miracle am I. Oh, what a miracle. Oh, So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have a spine, I have a spine, it can twist and bend, it can twist and bend. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have a one foot, I have a one foot, watch me balance. song for you about recycling. You might not know it, but maybe you can listen and you might be able to learn it with me. But it's to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle and it's called Recycle. Do you want to have a go with me? It goes like this. We recycle what we use, separate things you should too. Glass and paper, plastic tin, go in your recycle bin. We must start now, we can't wait. Quick or it will be too late. <gasps> Isn't that a great song about recycling? And it was talking about our paper and our plastic and our tins and our cardboards and where we put them because we don't put them in our red rubbish bin, do we? We put them in our yellow recycling bin. <gasps> so do you know what? Let's go see what Karina's up to today as we explore recycling more. Hi everyone, welcome back. I have a um, special experience here um, that relates back to the book that I read yesterday about how we can help our earth. Um, today I'm going to focus on number two and recycling. Um, so I've got a big box here which I thought you guys could help me sort out into the right categories. So let's have a look. We've got a drink holder here that's made out of cardboard. So we might put cardboard here and put all the cardboard things in that section. Also got some tins. They're quite loud. 
and I might put the tins here. So knowing that they're so loud, we might even be able to reuse them before we recycle them and make some musical instruments. That would be fun. And you might be able to use these musical instruments to sing the song that Stacy just taught you. Let's have a look what else we have find. I call this my treasure because I know that there's so many different things that I can do with it um, to make it exciting. Let's have a big find. Ooh, now we've got something else. We've got glass. So we'll put glass here. Let's see, we've got glass, we've got tin, we've got cardboard. Wonder if we've got any paper to recycle. Ooh. We've got lots of magazines. You might have some magazines at home and some old paper or some um, notes. We'll put them. I think I might put these actually to the side because I know that Stacy and I have experience to do with you later how to reuse those. And the plastic, we did forget plastic. Uh, let's have a look. We've got a plastic bottle and I've actually got a plastic bag. And here at Little Miracles, we actually learned that we can actually recycle our soft plastic. So soft plastics are something that you can scrunch into a ball like this. So that means you, that is a soft plastic, but this plastic bottle, you can't really scrunch that up. So that's not a soft plastic, that's a hard plastic. So we've got um, a different way that you can um, recycle your hard plastics and your soft plastics. I've got a photo to show you how at Little Miracles we do that. So this is how we recycle our soft plastics. We uh, put them in a big plastic bag and we can put them in a red cycle uh, bin. And then with our hard plastics, with our bottles, we can put them in a machine that will recycle them for us and it's called Return and Earn. So maybe you could also do that with when you're finished with your drink bottles, you could put them into these machines and leave these machines at um, maybe near your local supermarket or your shops um, and find it very similar to this one. And now Stacy is going to uh, read a book to us all about recycling so we can find out some more fun facts about recycling. Thanks so much, Karina. Do you know what? I love recycling and do you know what? I would call that my treasure box too because there are so many fun things in that box that instead of just throwing them in the bin, we could sort them and recycle them and find a new way to use them before we recycle them. But if not, going to recycle them means that they get another life anyway, that plastics can be melted down and reused um, and we can do other things with that as well. But I do have a story for you today and you might recognize these people. <gasps> it's Peppa Pig and Peppa Pig has a story called recycling fun for us. So let's see what it's about. Mr. Bull, the bin man, is collecting the rubbish. It's early in the morning, so he tries to be as quiet as he can. Everyone must still be sleeping. Crash, clink, oh! But Mr. Bull is not very good at being quiet. Hello, Mr. Bull. Oh, snorts Daddy Pig, Peppa and George. Hello, everyone, says Mr. Bull. Peppa and George are helping to clean up the breakfast things. We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can go in the recycling, says Mummy Pig. And can you see down the bottom? They're sorting their rubbish just like Karina did. They've got their paper, they've got their plastic, and their bottles. Soon they have collected enough things so Peppa and her family set off to the recycle centre. Mummy Pig has the bottles, and Peppa has the tin cans, and George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? asks Daddy Pig. Yes, snorts Pepper and George. 
clink, clink, rattle, 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 rustle, rustle, rustle. Oh, I think all the recycling is making lots of noises. <gasps> Soon they arrive at Miss Rabbit's recycle centre. Miss Rabbit is sitting high up inside a big crane. She is busy recycling all the rusty old cars. It is very noisy. Can you see her big crane? <gasps> She's got the cars. Ooh, did you know you could recycle cars? <gasps> Who knows which bins the bottle goes in? Asks Mummy Pig. <gasps> the green one, says Peppa. That's right, snorts Daddy's pig. Clink, 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 clink. He's pouring all those glass bottles in. And the cans go in the blue one, says Peppa. Well done, Peppa, smiles Mummy Pig. <gasps> rattle, 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 rattle. <laughs> Daddy Pig lifts George up so he can empty the newspaper into the red bin. <gasps> Where's our car gone, says Daddy Pig. <gasps> Stand back, shouts Mrs. Rabbit from up above them. <gasps> Miss Rabbit is about to recycle their car. <gasps> Uh-oh. Stop, shouts Peppa. Our car isn't old and rusty. Oh, I think Miss Rabbit's made a mistake. <laughs> ha, 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 silly me, says Miss Rabbit. I just love recycling. So do we, laughs Peppa. But we also love our little car. <laughs> oh, and, oh, wow, so did you see how Peppa and George, they were sorting all their recycling and they were putting it in all different bins. <gasps> so we have different bins at our house. We have a red bin for our rubbish. We have a yellow bin for all our recycling, so all our plastics and our tins and our paper. And then we have a green bin for all our, all our garden waste. But Karina was right, there are lots of places you can go and you can sort everything out. You might even notice at the park sometimes or even at the shopping centers, they might have recycling bins with yellow tops and one might say for plastic and another one might say for paper. Maybe you could have a look out next time and see what you could do when you sort your recycling. But I would love for you to come with me in a second so that we can look at recycling again and I've got an experience for you. But do you remember my song I sang before about recycling? Remember it went to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle. Do you think you can sing it with me again? Let's try together. You might like to tuck your knees. Ready? We recycle what we use separate things you could do. Glass and paper, plastic tin, all go in the cycling bin. You must start now, we can't wait. Quick or it will be too late. Do you know what? It's never too late to start recycling. So how about we go and see what we could do and we're gonna recycle some paper and plastic. So come with me. <laughs> Hey Karina, so I loved your treasure box and I'm so glad that you saved all this paper because I've got a really good experience we could do. Cause it's really nice to recycle and reuse things. So we've got like old school notes. We've got <gasps> some magazines. I even have old wrapping paper that maybe you got a birthday present in. Oh, I've got some like biscuit boxes and I even have a folder that had some notes and some schoolwork in it. And do you know what? I'm thinking we could reuse all these things and make a pretty special artwork. And we're not gonna use anything but recycled items. Do you think we can do it? I think we can too. So you could do this at home. All you might need is to maybe have a sort through your recycling and see if you've got any, maybe some boxes from cereals. You might have wrapping paper or you might even have some magazines at home, maybe ones you've got at the supermarkets that have recipes and you might be able to cut them up with us. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna get our scissors 
and we're gonna get some glue and you might need some sticky tape too and we're gonna create some artworks. So I might put some of these on the floor just so that we have some space. So what I'm going to do is you could get your scissors and you could use some of these things and cut them up. You might oh, cut round and round and maybe cut oh, a circle. And I've already cut some up to make it a little bit easier. Or maybe oh, I might cut a couple of stripes. Snip, 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 snip. You've got to be very careful with scissors too. So you might need a grown up to help you with this. Snip, snip, snip. And you could cut up all sorts of things. Or maybe I might even use some of our little containers as well. And so this is just a biscuit container and I've just cut it open. Oh, so I can cut all the way around. And it doesn't have to be neat. And I've got some circles. Oh, and I might cut one more shape. And then maybe you can have a look and see what I'm going to make today. So I'm gonna put these here. Can I give you my scissors? So I've cut up lots of different circles and some long bits. And I'm gonna use this folder. And it came with some schoolwork in it for my daughter. And I'm gonna use my glue stick. And we're gonna see if we can make a picture. So what I might do is I'm gonna use this long strip. Oh, lots of glue on it. And I'm gonna go stick, 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 stick. Oh, and I like some of these circles. So I might, one circle. Oh, what else have I got in here? And I've cut up lots of different ones. And there's lots of different colors. I like this one. It's got some yellow. I might put that one in the middle. Oh, and I like, oh, I like this one too. Do you have any magazines or wrapping paper at home that you might be able to use? This one here. Oh, what else have we got? Oh, do you remember my wrapping paper? Let's do another one. Do you know what I'm making yet? Can you see it? Or do you need me to lift it up a little bit higher for you? I'll stick one more on and then I might lift it up and see if you can guess what I'm starting to make. Oh, I think Karina's cutting out some more things. She might not like to make something too. Oh, can you start to see what I'm making? I think you might. Oh, I didn't use this one yet. I'm making a garden. I'm making, oh, stick that on a flower. Oh, and I'm gonna put some one. I'm gonna make my rays of sunshine because I heard that for seeds to grow, we need water and we need sunshine to help them grow. Oh, and so this could be something very fun that you could do with your family and make a special picture. Oh, I might put another dot here. Be good. But do you know what else I think I need? I love making creative things out of these little treasure boxes. I think that my flowers might need, stick, 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 some leaves. Does your flowers have leaves on them? Let's have a look, stick, stick, stick. Oh, I think I cut a leaf shape out. Oh, so you could maybe make a garden at home or you might like to make, oh, maybe a house or a car. Oh, but I think this is a fun, easy experience that you could do at home as well. And I bet you have all these things maybe in your recycling bin, or maybe you could have a look and ask your mummy or daddy or an adult or a neighbor and see what they have. I'm gonna add one more thing to mine and see if you know what it is. And I'm gonna show it, cause I know it's a little bit tricky to see. Oh, stick, stick, stick. <gasps> oh, I forgot one more, sorry. <laughs> 
Do you know what I'm starting to make? It's my garden. Can you see that I've got my long stem, I've got my leaves, I've got my flowers and my petals are coming out. I've got my sunshine so they can grow. And look, oh, I have a little butterfly as well that's gonna fly around and add to it. And this whole artwork has been made from nothing but recycled wrapping papers, magazines, even our cereal boxes. So maybe you might be able to make something too. What do you think, Karina? I love what you've done so far, Stace. While you've been doing that, I've been cutting out. I like to sort things with colour and shapes. So I've got some green triangles that I'm going to try and make a butterfly, just like your butterfly that you've made. So I'm just going to glue the back of my triangles and stick one over here. And then add another one. Two triangles has made a butterfly. And then I've also uh, saw some letters that um, were on the back on the front of a black background and looked like a bee to me. So then I cut out a love heart shape for the wings and I thought I'd make a bee. <gasps> oh, well, we could have the fuzzy bee coming to our flower. Sounds like a great idea. I might hold it up so everyone can see. Do you like the picture we've made? And it's all out of recycled items. How cool is that? So cool. So you might be able to make some, something like this at home. Um, you can even make some Play-Doh and see what recycled items you could use to make flowers inside your Play-Doh um, and things like that. We'd love to hear it. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.